Look at that little joker. Look at him. Look at that joker. He's sitting there waiting for me to open the door. Let me out. I'd kill you. Just kidding. He's harmless. <laughs> What's up, Ramblers? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Amra with the Ramblin' Richardsons. Oh, and my camera. Signed to do some things. <laughs> Let's see so if we can fix that there. Perfect. Uh, okay, so, been doing some cleaning in the house. Time to get to all of the animals here before I have to go pick up my wife from work. So we're going to do a little feeding video with all the animals. Sheila looks ready. I know Beans and Frank are ready. I've got to take that little leaf thing right there in Johnny's enclosure. I've got to take that out, clean it, give them some more Rapashi uh, or Pangea. I don't remember what kind we have, but we're going to give them, uh, give him rather some more gecko food. And we'll feed Duke who's over here climbing around in his enclosure, some crickets as well. So let's feed some animals. We have Duke down there, hanging out. And then there's beans. Can't really see him. Johnny is. There's his little tail. Let's see if we can in here. Right there. That's Johnny's little tail. He's hanging out back there. And there's a closure. And then we've got the aquarium that's doing nice. We've got little babies. Little snail babies. Got baby there, baby there. Got babies all up in here. Babies on here, babies down here. So let's see if we can feed these guys. Let's see, Get my shrimp around. Don't see where my shrimps are. Oh, I see one. There he is. Check him out. Just doing shrimpy things. shrimp, near right snail. I think these are ram's horn snails that came in on this, um, I think, I don't know, is that hydrocotyl? I have no idea. I don't remember what we got from this store. I'll have to go back and look at the video. All right. Looks like these took a mess in his tank, so we're going to have to clean that up first. Turkey baster at the ready. Okay, 
seconds. That's fine. He's hungry. He knows I'm about to feed him. Gotta clean the tanks out. Order to feed properly. Now, the reason we use the siphon to put the water back into the enclosure here, and we're trickling it down, this water is ice cold. The ice cold water before we add it back in to this enclosure so that it evens off the water temperature as well. Axolotls love cold water. <clears throat> so if we just dump all this water in, this glass here would crack. It's actually how Frankie's old tank got a crack in it. I was just pouring the ice cold water in there was too much of a strain on the glass so adding it in like this even though they don't really like a whole lot of running water it's fairly stress free for them and it helps them acclimate to the water without changing the water temperature drastically and it also allows the glass to acclimate to the temperature change so that the glass doesn't crack on us. And that's his little spot over there. He likes hanging out on top of his sponge filter. I really need to get a better sponge filter. One that's got not such a fine filter on it. That filter to me is pretty fine. I need something a little less fine. I need to order that. But yeah. About to feed that guy. Beans has got a really good feeding response. Let's see if we can get feed here. Hungry? Oh yeah, oh geez. Yeah, he was hungry. <laughs> I'd say he was hungry. Alright, just down to a trickle here. 
toss it up. Just for good measure, we're gonna drop in a frozen water bottle. <clears throat> Me troubles every time I open up his door. Let's see if he's gonna rush me. Uh -huh. Don't do it. Don't do it. Manual, don't do it. I see you. Johnny and Duke, not to mention lights on when I'm working. So, pulling down this water for uh, enclosures, this water makes the whole room nice and cool. But uh, yesterday they, they fasted, so today they got a whole earthworm. It was a small earthworm, but still. See if you 
guys can see this. You see that troublemaker? Right up in there. <laughs> He's hiding. Let's see if I can get a better shot. You can see him up in there. Underneath that leaf, there's his tail. <laughs> You're a little troublemaker, Johnny. Yeah. yeah. Good old Duke. Looks like you've been shedding a little bit, bud. Look at that paw. Want some crickets? I have to feed you when I get back, okay? After these messages, we'll be right back some crickets. So here's our crickets. A couple of them are dead, which is okay. As they go in here, an isopod habitat, and the isopods will eat the dead crickets. So I don't mind having a few dead crickets. Look at Sheila. She knows something's up. Yeah. Those are crickets. You see them? Nicely done, Sheila. Sheila. What you doing? What are you doing, girl? <laughs> Where'd that rascally old cricket go? Duke. Do as your Duke wants you. 
Duke. Hey, buddy. Hey, Duke. Oh, he's hungry. Oh, goodness. Good job, Duke. Is that yummy? You're hungry, buddy, huh? Duke. Okay, he's somewhere in your enclosure now. You're gonna have to hunt him. I got one more for you. Let's get a good eye on Duke. Nice. Chomp chomp. Good job, Duke. Isopod culture, colony, whatever. There we go. Those little happy springtails. Produce babies. That's good. Little mank eye. Give him a little bit of water. Water on the station. These guys. Good. Alright. Let's pull out the big culture here. Oh, wow. Got some mold in here. Okay. Huh. Well, that's what those are for. Oh, Springtails, at least. We need water, so there's no. See, that one seems to be doing okay in here. <laughs> well, I was not expecting the fish food to get wet and grow mold, but it looks like it did in the isopod culture. So I rinsed off it. Um, the moss as much as I could, that's sphagnum moss, and put it back in. I'm going to hold off on watering them as it's very moist in there as it is. So they should be able to drink the condensation if they need water. Uh, but I want it to hurt the colony that we have going right now. So I wanted to rinse that off as much as I could because I don't want them getting sick. Uh, but we fed everybody else. Duke got a couple of crickets. Sheila got a couple of crickets. I forgot to film her eating the first like two crickets I gave her. But she ate a couple of crickets. Um, probably go pick some more up tomorrow. Uh, fed both the axolotls and the fish tank. 
and I cleaned out Johnny's little dish. It's right up here. It's soaking, so I give him that Pangea gecko mix, and he's very small, so he doesn't eat very much of it at all, and then it just crusts to that thing, so every other day I have to go in there and pull it out, clean it, and put it back in with some fresh food. So I'll give him some fresh food tomorrow. <clears throat> but everybody got fed. Everybody got watered. Got axolotl tanks cleaned out as well. So there it is, the feeding video. Everybody got fed. The isopods got fed. Sheila got fed. Everyone got fed. That's the point of this. So I'm going to wrap this video up. Guys, do me a favor. Go down there. Like. Subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you don't ever miss any of the videos that we post. It helps me tremendously. Help me push that algorithm out there into YouTube to more people. It's free. You don't have to do anything but click a button. And my channel certainly gives thanks. And I'd like to be, give a big shout out to the sponsor of our video today. You guys that's already watching this video, all of our subscribers and all of our viewers are going to be our number one promoter, our number one um, sponsor of the videos that we make because y'all are the ones watching them. Oh, so guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Remember, life's about the journey, not the destination, and we will see you on the next video.